y'all it's Nashi here and welcome to today's video we are going to be trying out a new twist out cocktail that I've never tried before I've tried both of the products individually but I've never paired them together and I'm really excited to see what kind of twist out I get with these products but first before we get into the video if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell I post new videos twice a week, so if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this twist out. All right, so I've gone ahead, washed, deep conditioned, and I also added the leave-in to my hair. I use the Baskin Bloom Ease Leave-In, which is one of my favorites. I'll have it listed down below. I have all my wash day products listed down below, and I've just been letting my leave-in marinate. So I'm going to show y'all my little concoction that I'm going to be using today. And the first product I'm going to be using is the Adwa Beauty Bail Mint Curl Defining Cream. Y'all, I actually have only used this once and I only used it on half of my head. I battled this with another product. Um, I believe it was the Twisting Butter from Texture ID from their coils on. I'll go ahead and link that video up in the cards if you're interested. But my twist out was amazing definition shine moisture it lasted for days i did kickboxing classes with this in without retwisting and my hair lasted and it just looks so good and then what i'm going to layer on top of that is the main choice cheers gelato and y'all know that i absolutely love this but I've only used it for a wash and go. I've actually never used it for a twist out. And I know a lot of y'all have said that y'all enjoy this for a twist out. So we're going to pair these together and just see what kind of twist out we get. I feel like it's going to be defined, moisturized, shiny. But I don't think it's going to have a crunch. Because Jello, um, I was about to call this the Jello shot. Gelato <laughs> does not give me any crunch. It gives me um, hold, but like a soft hold. So let's quit rambling and just get on into this twist out. It's funny because I am trying to like hurry through this twist out because today is Saturday that I'm filming this and it's also the first day of SEC um, college football. And many of you know that I went to the University of Georgia. Well, I, I can't even say many of you know. I've said it before, but I don't know if y'all know. But now you know. Um, I went to the University of Georgia. Go dogs! So, gotta watch them today. They are playing Arkansas, I think. We're ranked number four. We got new quarterbacks. <laughs> I mean, as much as I watch football, I really don't keep up with it. <laughs> the year starts and i'd be surprised every time like who is that but anyways <laughs> adding the curl cream to my hair and y'all this smells so good it's so moisturizing and i really don't like um minty scents but i love the adwa beauty mint scent because it's like sweet and this stuff is really potent a little bit goes a long way you don't need much at all. So now I'm just taking the smallest bit of the Cheers Gelato and adding it on top. Not too much, just enough to add some shine and a little bit of definition. I also did do like the little um, cocktail, the cocktail test where I mix both, both of the products in my hand and there's white but it wasn't like residue it's just that the cream turned white but that's obviously because um the Adwa beauty cream is white but i didn't get any like clumping or anything and even now i'm like looking at my hands and i don't see any like particles or anything so i think that this is going to be a good little cocktail going on All right, y'all, so I just wanted to kind of get close and show y'all how my twist is looking. It's nice and juicy and moisturized. So, of course, I'm going to continue to twist throughout my head. Oh, and I forgot to mention, y'all, that I did a side part. Some of y'all be coming at me for my middle part. I don't know why. Some of y'all just don't like a middle part, but, like, I like my middle part. I do like side parts, but I just, I don't know. Middle part gives me life. Side part gives me life too, but I decided to switch it up today and I even switched up the side. Normally I do my side part on this side, but I was like, let's switch it up 
and do it on the right side. So yeah, we're gonna keep twisting up, adding the product, and then of course I'll be back to show you all my little twist in my head. <laughs> Okay y'all, so I am done twisting up my hair and this is what we are looking like. My twists are nice and juicy. This side is already kind of dried because I did this side and I took a break and then I watched the football game and then the game ended. And y'all know how football be, it'd be like three hours long. And then I came and did this side. So this side hasn't really shrunken up and you can kind of see more residue. But my twists are looking so good thus far so i'm gonna let this dry for a couple of days y'all i don't be afraid to go nowhere in my twist i go to church in my twist back before corona i don't want y'all fussing at me i'm not talking about right now but before corona i would go to church with my twist i would go to work with my twist i'd make them look cute or whatever but i would go to work in my twist, go to the grocery store in my twist. I'm not afraid of my twist. And I mean like I won't wear a slap cap or nothing. Like I will legit just go like this and I be, I be good. So like I said, we're gonna let this air dry for a day or two or three <laughs> and then I'll be back for the final results. Okay y'all, so these are my final results. I just took down my twist. They were all dry today is Monday. It's actually Monday night, like 8 p.m. Um, so I did my hair on Saturday and I let my twist dry for the rest of Saturday, all of Sunday, and most of today. And I finally took them down. And y'all, this combination is amazing. Get into this definition and the shine. There's so much moisture. Like, my hair looks so good. And with the cut, the trim that I got, like, my ends are nice. My hair is nice and voluminous. And I really didn't have to pick out my hair too, too much. I already have pretty thick, dense hair. I have a lot of hair on my head. So, for me, it doesn't usually take a lot of fluffing. But, y'all, this combination looks so good there's no flaking um there's no crunch because cheers gelato typically doesn't really give me a crunch so for those of you who don't like crunchy hair this is the combo for you and even if you do like crunchy hair like i do this is still the combo for you like i can't get over how good my hair looks <laughs> it looks so good oh my gosh like match made in heaven y'all this on its own is already really good but if you just wanted some longevity um you just want to add it add an extra bit of hold then definitely go in with the cheers gelato y'all like oh, so good i definitely will keep using this combination throughout the fall and winter because this this is bomb it is amazing like i said moisture for days definition for days shine for days like so good let me know down below in the comment section if you've tried this combo out before or if you've paired this with something else i'm curious to see what you've paired it with i might try it with the pearly braid out, braid out glaze because the pearly braid out glaze gives me a little bit more hold than the cheers gelato so i'm interested to see how that combo is but i mean y'all the proof is in the pudding my hair is the pudding <laughs> i hope that y'all enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and as always I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.